So it's one six. If it's a sunny day, chances are you'll find Sandy Kirk on the court. I really love it. It's a very good game. A relatively new sport with a growing following, known for its furious rallies, funny name, and... Well, what is that sound? Magical. <laughs> Others would disagree. Kind of hollow twack sound when the ball makes contact with the racket. For some, the swinging of rackets are making a racket. I'm standing now across the park, well over 50 feet away from the courts, which in the summer months are usually booked up all day till 8 p.m. And despite the distance, that sound still comes in loud and clear. We have been fielding complaints for quite some time now, and we feel it's, uh, it's time to go to council and get some direction on how to approach this problem. Gary Darrow with the District of Saanich says the Tomey Park courts have received the most noise complaints, followed by McMinn Park. So the Parks Department has come up with a number of options for Saanich Council to weigh on, ranging from increased acoustic fencing panels with an estimated price tag of $45,000 to limiting play times, adding a booking system, or even the more drastic. One of the other options is to actually take the courts out altogether. I wouldn't be in favor of that. Nor would the hundreds of passionate pickleballers across the region. But changes are likely on the way. We all want everyone to be happy, right, and living, um, I guess, cohesively sort of things, right? Dara says relocating courts is a challenge due to a lack of available locations. He also says other cities in the CRD are watching closely as the issue stems far beyond Saanich. We've been talking to our colleagues in uh, Oak Bay and the city of Victoria as well, and they're very interested in what we're up to here, and if we do find a, a good noise solution, they will definitely be partnering with us on, on that in the future. The pickleball proposal will be presented at tonight's council meeting.